Would I recommend this camp? Just peeking out behind a bush. Building works. There's no trees around, which you gotta have on a campsite, right? Buongiorno everybody. How are you doing out there, man? This is us in the Ardennes in this massive, massive campsite, which is the biggest one we've seen for a long time. Gorgeous. French side still. Absolutely this gorgeous. This is the weirdest campsite you've ever seen. If you're watching this, you will know that you have also been to hundreds of campsites. Some of them are instantly top and you just get in there and it's perfect. Others you enter into the campsite, you think, I don't know, there's a strange vibe going on here. It's not quite what I had in mind. This is huge. Yeah, really, really big. I think it's a quarter mile more we're very lucky to be here with nobody else it's so nice <laughs> but you park off and after you've had one night there it's just the most fantastic place because it's just in the nature this place here is a total opposite to what we did last night in that mini camping which had 10 pitches tiny little ablution block some really nice people owning it most fantastic view across the valley of the Morvan and here we're nestled in the Ardennes uh, hillsides with a lot of greenery around us. This is a nice area here. Yeah, look at this. Stunning. All the way down to that yurt over there. That is not even a quarter of the size of this place. Yeah. These are lovely ginormous. pictures. A lot of trees. The river yeah. is right here, which is really cool. <laughs> oh, that's muddy. <laughs> Called getting back in touch with nature, <laughs> getting uh, your souls in contact with Mother Nature, with Earth. Oh, you can see by my toes I've been in mud because <laughs> I had a lovely little sneaky dip. But look how beautiful this campsite is. Well, this is the extended extended part of the campsite. I can't imagine that they use this for that, but it's nice that it looks like a mini woodlands mini forest most beautiful and the problem here is there's no electricity in this area so we couldn't book a spot because our Why? inverter Damn it. <laughs> decided to give up the ghost yes and we need a cold fridge so yes. there it is gotta have those cold beers this looks like the end of it yeah but look at that there's That's nature beautiful. everywhere so yeah. there's our yurt there we've come all the way around down this trail and now this is what looks like stables so you can do a lot of stuff around here you can take your mountain bike a lot of very steep hills or you come here with your horse pretty cool building works in progress like any airport you've ever been to it's always something going on so here's like a massive Bungalow, Jeet. Vic says this is for 19 people. The sign says so on the side. <laughs> because the sign says so on the side. <laughs> and here we can have a quick barbecue. I think there are good fans of wood here, which is nice because in France there is no possibility to use any wood at all. It's either electric or gas. So here we are kind of at the end of the camping. If you look all the way down there to those houses at the back, that is around about where the entrance is. Let's have a look. Pollution blocks, there's one of them. There's a second one. I've only seen two on this campsite. And considering the number of pitches, it's quite concerning. If all of these pitches were occupied, ish. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to be here. It's quite nice now, just being here alone. There are a handful of other people around, maybe three or four. And the whole place to yourself, which is fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, the numbers go up to 400. 
Well, this building here is not an ablution block, it's a salle de reception and a gite for another 10 people. So you could bring your company here on a corporate team building and maybe they can mow the lawn. <laughs> There, down there is our landy. Yeah. <laughs> Just peeking out behind the bush. Now it's hiding again. <laughs> Doing its job, man. Now you see? Now you don't. <laughs> so why are we parked here? Well, you can see why. Just next to Vic there, there's a little tadpole which has power in it, which is powering our fridge. Which is a shame because this is probably the one of the, not, one of the least nice pictures here. There's no trees around, which you've got to have on a campsite, right? But we're right across from the river here, which is quite cool. The only thing is, obviously, the grass is really high because they said their strimmer or lawnmower is broken down. So that's, there's that. But the ablutions look a bit oldish, but they're cleaned well. I saw the guy this morning. He was in there with his mop going, so that's cool. Yeah, it's a weird place because um, the direction to the... That's where the ablution block is. And there's another one behind that tree, about the same distance. So you're going to get really fit around here if you need to go and take a leak often. And here we're nestled in the Arden uh, hillsides with a lot of greenery around us. Uh, would I recommend this camp? Let me see. Maybe not if you need 4G to work. If you need to work online a lot, this doesn't have the best uh, reception because we're in a bit of a dip here. So if there's that, if you like cycling, as we saw horse riding, um, you just come here for the nature and just to walk. And there's a river right here as well. Then this is a great place to be. Yesterday's place, a lot cooler. The thing is we're a little bit biased at this point because we're arriving at campsites and we're almost alone with not many people around, which is a fantastic luxury for us. You've been to places where everyone's stacked and uh, middle of summer, it's a totally different vibe. So we've been on the road for two weeks now. We left two weeks ago. We went to the little town of Serre, which is halfway to Grenoble. And we stayed there. We looked for our old campsite there, but it was closed down. I think they'd abandoned it. It was not working out for them. Is it because of the current situation? I don't know. But we found one across the road, which was even better. It had this beautiful view of the mountains going out. We stayed there two nights, small little pitches, a lot of shade though, really comfortable, nice place to be. Also not many people around. Then we took a little detour for a couple of days and then we came to the mini camping yesterday, which was a really nice experience as well. Mini campings are cool because there's not many people around. If you want quiet and a bit of solitude and a bit of peace, go there and they had good Wi-Fi so we could get a whole day's work done which was really cool so from here we're going to head a bit further north now and see what we can find there find another campsite let's try and stay in the Ordans because it's such a nice place to be maybe find some 4G so we can actually do some work and you might be able to see this one day so yeah stick around man it just continues Quite a big river. Now that's service when you're driving, man. Yeah, you missed the spot. That mm -hmm. well, looks much better. This is one of those TikTok videos when you jump out the car and start dancing. Keep waving. Buongiorno! <laughs> <laughs> 